charge into one. Left center, did he get it up? In the air, is it three homers in a row? You betcha! Hill and ran as many home runs tonight as he had for Boston all season. From a very young age, every chance I get. I find myself with a baseball in my hand thrown against the wall or hitting a ball off of a tee training my skill sets because I have a vision in my head and a dream in my heart of becoming a Major League Baseball player. The higher I go, the more success I have. Obsession becomes the name of the game. And the more success I have, the less friends I have around me because the bubble I go into becomes so great so my focus can be sustained. The longer I play, the game becomes my name. The focus it takes a Major League Baseball player to perform every single night on stage in front of 40,000 people screaming your name is insane. When I was a kid, baseball was a game. But now that I'm in the show, the game becomes my name. So I disconnect from who I am and allow baseball to become my identity. And when I disconnect from who I am, I disconnect from everything that makes me who I am. When I'm angry, I disconnect. When I'm happy, I disconnect. I can't show love. I can't show gratitude. Because if I don't disconnect from who I am, I'm not gonna have a chance to perform tonight. And if I don't perform tonight, I'm not gonna have a job. The pressure to succeed is so great that you lose yourself. And when you lose yourself, you begin playing the pain-driven game. What I don't realize when I'm playing Major League Baseball is I'm a person playing Major League Baseball, not a Major League Baseball player. And when I give in to allowing the game to become my name, I find myself on top of the world. And when I'm on top of the world, I have everything going for me. I have little girls in the stands holding up signs saying, will you marry me, Shay? I'm doing autograph signings for $10,000 an hour and girls are coming to the table crying and shaking just because they get to meet me. But what they don't see is a deep, deep pain resonating inside of me, fueling the pain-driven game. Ever since four years old, a Major League Baseball player has been working on his game. But what he doesn't realize is that one day, the game will become his name. And we as Major League Baseball players are human beings. And when we disconnect from being a human being, the game becomes our name. But one day, the bench coach comes over to my locker and says, hey, the skipper needs to see you. Instantly, my stomach drops and I feel like I just got kicked in the face because the skipper never calls me into the office to tell me I'm doing something good. And as I'm sitting across from the manager's desk, fear is pulsating through my veins. And he proceeds to tell me, hey, we like you around here, but with your lack of production and your numbers, we don't have a spot for you in the roster anymore. I'm sorry we're gonna to have to let you go. The media is surrounding me at my locker and I find myself in a haze because I have no clue how I'm gonna navigate the upcoming days because if I'm not a Major League Baseball player, I'm nothing. Ever since four years old, five years old, six years old, I've had a baseball in one hand and a glove in the other hand pursuing my dream of becoming a Major League Baseball player. I've played in front of millions of people in all-star games. I've been booed going on the field I've been booed coming off the field, and I've been booed at my hotel. But nothing compares to when you lose a game. Because when I lost the game, my mind got twisted. And when your mind gets twisted, you live in the past. As I'm barely getting a grip on my life, I find myself waking up in the middle of the night in cold sweats after having dreams of playing Major League Baseball. And these dreams are so real that every part of my being is starving to go back and play. And the sad part is, is I convinced myself to do so. And after two failed attempts, I find my life spiraling out of control. It's 3 a.m. and I find myself on the floor of a van. And after overdosing on drugs and alcohol, here lies a guy that so many envy. And as the soul's leaving the top of my head and I'm clinging on to my last breath, the thoughts that are going through my mind are, you're a failure, you've lost everything. What kind of dad would do this to his kids? I don't know, but I'm nothing if I don't have baseball. I was tired of fighting the pain-driven game, so I finally let go. I don't know if I died or if I fell asleep. 
shortly after that fateful night in the van, the Lord brought my wife, Kristen, into my life. And it took someone else to help me through the process of creating a new identity. And with this new identity, I want to use my voice and my story and my gifts and my talents to create a movement to inspire people like you to use your voice to impact the world. Why? Because I have a passion for helping people achieve their goals and their dreams. And I'll do that through 100% transparency. And I want to help you.